Hi everybody, welcome to American Truck Simulator. I wanted to go live, but my YouTube channel doesn't allow live streaming yet. So for now, I am just going to record and then upload it. And today we are playing American Truck Simulator. I started a brand speaking new account and Got it set up, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to play some games. I have some mods that I like and some other stuff. So let's check out these moderators, mods, mod manager. Got some bright headlights. I don't know how effective they'll be, but I need them because I don't see in the dark very well. Uh, obviously, most people can't, but because of my eyesight, it's even harder. And sometimes I just like driving in the dark, too. I got some, a real company pack. I might have to get it updated, maybe. I don't know. I got some over cab trucks, engines, um, cab overs. This is my absolutely favorite truck, like literally my favorite cab over. Um, I like these okay, but this is my absolute favorite. He's a beast. I also love this truck, and I think I'm going to love it even more because of these two engine mods. Let's see here. And that one's up to 10,000. I don't one of these is oh yes so this one is for modded trucks and this one is for american truck simulator trucks so i guess the author had to split it in order for the game not to crash and so far it seems to be working so hopefully so let's go driving confirm game yep. ah! whoa I got started by a bug crawling on me. What a sneaky son of a... I really did thought I was all ready, but I guess the game crashed. But you can watch with me and I'll walk and we can... And I'll walk you through what I do to troubleshoot and figure out where the problem why it's crashing. I know it's one of the mods. I just have to figure out which one it is. I don't know if it's because I have both... I don't know. Let's go check and see what the problem is. <laughs> so when this happens, what I like to do is take out all the mods and put them back one by one. But I think I have a theory about which one it is because most of the mods I've already had. If I log into my main account, my Steam account, my main Steam account, I would have the same mods that I have here, and I know they work. Um, to to emphasize, I have three Steam accounts. The main one is where I purchased my games over the years, but the other two I shared. Where I ch I did I used the family group sharing so that. I don't have to buy and I can start over with my achievements. I, all these years and I finally figured it out. But anyway, so what we have here is all these mods. Now, I know this one works. I'm pretty sure this one works because, um, and this, now, the, because these ones were, uh, this was not on my previous game. I'm pretty sure that was not on my previous Steam account. This was on my Steam account. This was not on my Steam account. So I'm just eliminating the ones that I know were not on my other Steam account, causing it to crash. So I'm hoping... I'm going to see if that works. And then I'll start re-adding them back in. I 
I was incorrect. Something is causing that game to crash and it isn't the mods I de deselected. Alright, so... We'll just open it back up and see which one and see which one it can maybe I'm gonna try the W900A because that even though I do have it on my other my original Steam account oh shoot I was gonna press mod manager and then I clicked on the wrong button sorry game we're gonna crash again <laughs> I haven't even started and already crashed three times. But as I was about to say, I do have the Kenworth 900 long on my main account. But I think it's a different mod than the one that's here. So we're going to give take that out and see if that is the issue. Which will be very, very disappointing if it is. So we'll remove that. Try again. Confirm changes. Con I hope that. Actually, I, I. It's crashing again, isn't it? Hmm. Which is going to be harder than I thought it was. But, you know, in some ways it's a good thing because then you can see for yourself the process that I go through in troubleshooting this. Um. Once this, once I, I'm going to finish this video after I troubleshoot it and upload it so that, like I said before, you can see what happens and what I do to figure out what is the problem, where is it. Alright, so. So we see here, one of these mods is causing the issue, is my assumption. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at because it isn't the mods that I thought was going to be, I am going to unload them all and then start start again, adding them one by one. Oh, I went the wrong way. All right, here we go. Confirm changes, save. And then we'll add it one by one. Although in some cases it might be group, depending on what the grouping is. Let's start with Looks like it's gonna work. It's probably definitely gonna change the channel. Oh. Alright, so, I'm going to have to select a city. I think I'm going to do Salt Lake City. Although, in reality, I really want to start in Texas and just clean, map it all out. But, no, I'm going with Texas. I'm going to go with McAllen. Why? One, just because it's the most southern tip of Texas. And secondly, because there is a temple in McAllen, Texas, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints announced something about the McAllen Temple, but I can't remember if it was for groundbreaking or the location of where it's going to be, but there was an announcement about it. I just don't remember what it's now, but moving on. Because I want to get to solving my issue. No, I don't. But I do know for a fact that it is one of the mods because it's not crashed right now. I'm hoping it will let me get back to the menu so that I can solve it. Instead of having to go through a drive. Because right now my focus is on fixing the issue. And I probably should have done this first before the problem solving. Maybe I should do it like that.
try that. Let's go. Let me see here. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, yes. Large pad. Yes. I thought I would have to. Okay, we'll just go through this. All right, now. So we know it's not this. So let's, I'm just going to put these three in here. And just put them a little bit by a little bit and see what happens. To new game. I know it's not the bright lights. So far it's loading, so that's a good sign. Hmm, taking a little longer than I anticipated. All right, back to the mod launch pad. So those ones work. I'm going to put in the other ones that I know apparently worked because it was still crashing after I... So this one was still in there. Was what I removed. This one I removed. And it didn't crash. This one I removed, but it didn't crash. Um, so, all right, next we're going to put these max two ones in. Try and do a little bit at a time so that you can narrow the problem down. That way you can pinpoint it. I already know. Ah ha ha ha! I think we found our broken mod. Cause it just crashed again. And grateful. <clears throat> it wasn't nine hundred A because I removed that. All right, let's turn it here. Which ones did I... All right, these ones work. It's always one of these two things, I believe. Let me, let me, let me remove this one. Because that might have not been updated. I think this one is more likely because... I believe this was one from my Steam Workshop. Let me see here. Uh, or maybe not. Anyway. No, I think... No, these two were from my Steam Workshop. So I know they work. This is from my mod, I think. So... I'm thinking this is the culprit right here. So let's go see here. Load. Because I know... Hmm. Yep, looks like we found that mod, a broken mod. So, as you can see, what I've done was I simply eliminated. I took out what I knew worked, and then I pinpointed a little bit, and a little bit, and a little bit to see what the problem was. So I'm going to go back and add everything back in. 
except for the one that I think is causing the problem. But it doesn't really surprise me because it's most likely that whoever created this didn't update it. So I'm going to be quick and just add it all in and remove this. And there we go. That's my Cooper. As I was saying before, so let me just show again what I do. One other problem. I remove all the mods that I know work. I re-enter them little bit by little bit by little bit until it crashes. And then take out what I think is the Cooper. In this case, this was the Cooper. So it just takes trial and error to figure out to find that problem. I'm hoping that's the Cooper. It's got to be. And if there's another one that's crashed, causing the crash. Yep, that was the Cooper. So I hope this helps you when you're trying to find issues in regards to I might make another video to make it shorter to I might make another video to make it shorter but it was live and I thought you know what I'm gonna take when I started having a problem I thought you know what I'm gonna take you guys through a live process so that you can actually see for yourself what I personally do when these crashes happen on the go instead of just making a video and showing an example I thought you know what I'm going to do this live and hopefully that helps you and now I'm going to actually do a video with driving through Texas have a great day now. Please consider liking and subscribing to see more trucking videos and other videos that I plan to make. Peace.